Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I'm actually recording this live on Twitch. I'm there every night at 6 p.m. Feel free to join me and the community next time I'm broadcasting live. And in recent days and weeks, I've been talking about moving on from my iPad Pro 11-inch, the one with the 5G, the one that I got, I think, earlier this year that I, I was happy enough with. I was thinking of moving from that to another tablet, and it really wasn't until very recently that I considered the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus a viable alternative to the iPad, although there, there's not like a direct correlation, and I do plan on doing a this versus that video between these two tablets at some point in the very near future as well. But uh, now that I've been using this uh, particular device, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, for a week or so, despite this being out for like over a year now, it, it hadn't even been on my radar because I hadn't considered a, 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 an, an Android tablet. Uh, but after the release of iOS 15, after the release of iOS 15, I decided that it was possibly time for me to look beyond iOS, as in the iPad, because I just found it to be suboptimal for an experience that I was looking for. So today I wanted to go over things that I love, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going over things that I hate about this particular device. Uh, but let's go ahead and begin with my top uh, reason to make any shift or uh, my uh, number one thing that I look for in any device, and that is experience, specifically in software. And the software experience is not perfect with the S7 Plus, but I am enjoying it. In fact, I'll go as far as to say is Android on this tablet, I feel does better than... Uh, iOS on the iPad uh, in the sense that you know there are a lot of iOS apps out there most of them feel like blown up iPhone apps or even when you run iPhone apps on the iPad screen it, it just doesn't feel right uh, it feels better Android feels better on this tablet that's kind of what I'm saying than than iPhone apps feel on uh, the iPad Pro uh, you know not perfect but the screen is outstanding uh, it's very responsive, uh, 120 hertz screen, that means things fly along at 120 frames per second. Uh, Samsung's been making uh, constant optimizations, in fact, I just got One UI 3.1.1 yesterday. Uh, oh look, it's another notification that came in. Uh, but uh, most of my apps, the apps that I need to use, run on it, uh, including apps that would normally only run on a phone. Uh, I can window them in in various ways on this tablet uh, which you know kind of makes me happy because i can actually in enjoy those apps in a native like experience on a larger screen so samsung hasn't quite hit it out of the park but this is the best android tablet that i've ever used probably the the best one that you could possibly get at this point which is one of the reasons i targeted it um i like being able to switch modes samsung has uh, something called dex which means you can either connect this to an external monitor and actually interact with your tablet directly on Windows or Mac OS, uh, or you can actually switch over to a desktop-like mode on the tablet itself, and that sometimes can automatically kick in when you've got the keyboard accessory. This is the separate keyboard accessory that detaches, which is both a blessing and a curse, um, but it, it, it turns it into a better laptop alternative than the iPad has been. And that's just been my experience specifically with software, whether I'm running in DEX mode or not. Uh, DEX needs to continue to be developed. Uh, DEX is still a little immature, but it works well enough. It, it's, it's easily, uh, you know, one of those things that you would overlook. But once you start using it, you understand just how awesome it is, especially when you're moving from an iPad. Uh, this feels more like a tablet OS than iPad OS does. So again, I've been making direct comparisons, even though one's Android, one's iPad OS, but I'm looking more towards the, the usability of the operating system on a device this size, this form factor. And I just feel that Samsung has done a fantastically better job with it. Uh, it's not desktop. Uh, it's, it's not a phone. It's somewhere in the middle, and I'm looking for a better software experience. And the fact that they pack DeX as well as a tablet experience uh, into this, uh, despite the Samsunginess that Samsung uh, does, that is throwing all their apps uh, at you, I feel you could largely mitigate that uh, with uh, uh, GoodLock. So GoodLock still works on uh, this device as well as uh, the other Samsung devices uh, that I have used. GoodLock is free in the Samsung store uh, for you to use. I think Samsung team members actually develop it, although I, it's, it's largely unofficial to, to customize uh, the experience. 
Uh, so it still works wonders for uh, most of the customization features that I need here. Uh, if you are a power user, then you would certainly want to look into that. Uh, Samsung's got a promise for updates, as I mentioned, and they've been pushing uh, updates down the pike. I do, after having used this for a week and worked it into my workflow with relative ease, seamlessly, I am excited for the next iteration of their flagship tablet. Absolutely excited. Um, and in fact, I believe that as Google's going to uh, issue, be issuing updates around Android 12, specifically optimizing apps for larger screens like foldables, uh, the tablet may very well come in tow. It's a good indication that Google has not given up on tablets. Uh, Samsung's done a, a pretty fantastic job with this. Uh, the notification panel, these are just some, some notes I made for myself. I love the fact that notifications you can swipe down from anywhere. Like if, if I swipe down on this side of the screen, uh, the notification panel drops down here. If I swipe down here, it goes down here. It's just Samsung's added something to the experience. And in fact, I feel they've done more for Android on the tablet than they have with the phones. And I know they're, they're, they're a big deal with Android phones, but I, I feel they've gone a long way with this. And again, I, I would encourage Samsung to continue down that path. Uh, battery life gets me beyond seemingly a day of heavy use. Like I've sat in on meetings with this thing and, and worked it and didn't plug it in and got through to the end of the day and still had 40% battery life yet. I, I mean, without plugging it in. Incredible. So it definitely keeps pace uh, with the iPad Pro as far as that's concerned. Uh, I, I've been able to, to, to get it, uh, you know, to do everything I need to do uh, for the live stream as in using the NDI app, as I mentioned. Uh, a nice bonus, though, the accessory itself this is like an extra $200 the uh, um, the the tablet case the tablet case I will say uh, is is kind of important for me in my usage as, as kind of like a lighter laptop alternative I don't want to like uh, uh, get into the things that I don't like but it's it's a good keyboard this solid keyboard uh, in, in terms not solid in the sense that this is a solid device it's a bit flimsy uh, but it works, and the key travel is good. Uh, the key press is good. Uh, but you know, the thing that I like about the 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 case is that you flip this flap down, and the S Pen is right there. And the S Pen is kind of fun to use. I admit, not being a stylus user, and it's not a stylus. Uh, I have fun, and my daughter has been having a total blast with this as well. She enjoys using it, and she's been sketching in the uh, the Samsung Notes app. Uh, so that's one default app that I appreciate Samsung puts on. The other ones, uh, it's kind of redundant. In fact, they have the phone app on here for you to like mirror the experience or like the, what is it, the, the auto transfer apps thing. You know, if you're using it on one device, it'll transfer to the other. I'm not as interested in that, uh, honestly. Uh, but the pen comes with the tablet. You don't have to buy it separately. So the price was pretty good. Uh, I got it for like a couple hundred dollars off. This is the 256 gig model. And the reason I went with this model Despite me wanting to get one with 5G, this doesn't have 5G. It's painful. You have to go through the carriers to get a 5G model. Samsung, don't do that. Uh, the uh, the reason why is because carriers are only carrying the 128 gig version. And the problem with that is 128 only comes with 6 gigs of RAM. The 256 and up comes with uh, 8 gigs of RAM. And this thing, <laughs> I'm telling you, needs RAM. So I'm glad that I got the 8 gig RAM version, 256 storage. Uh, it also happens to have... Uh, a, the ability, I'm trying to find the, the port there, uh, to support external uh, uh, storage. So I, I'd imagine like, uh, you know, you'd, you'd be able to throw a micro SD card in there. I've never used one for this uh, reason before, but you've got expandability options, which again, is a boon if you're looking for something like that. So the price and the value I feel is more than fair. The S7 Plus though is the one to get because it's got the higher refresh rate. And that, once you go that direction, it's impossible to go back uh, to anything else. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've liked a lot of the things that, that Samsung has offered, though it's not like full customization. I don't necessarily always like using the touchpad or the trackpad, but they optimize this keyboard for Android and specifically the Samsung tablet experience. And uh, like I can turn off the trackpad or the touchpad, which I love because there's no accidental uh, swipes. Uh, you know, easy keyboard shortcuts, though, you know, I I'll get into some of the things that I don't like about it. This is just High level overview, I am very, very satisfied with uh, this particular purchase. This is the thing that I'm using now on a daily basis uh, and, and, you know, am very much looking forward to future software updates uh, as well as hardware revisions uh, in uh, this particular series. I am now a Samsung Galaxy Tab user. Uh, I'll be going into the comparison of the iPad Pro here soon uh, and, and talk about what's going to happen with that. I've pretty much made the switch.